I saw a video today and I was gonna recommend it to you. It was basically just like a 10 minute video talking about the statistics of uh, being middle class in the US. That it, like in the, like 30 years ago, today, you would be strongly middle class with 20% of your income going into savings and having a house and three kids and cars, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now, and, and they were talking about the states, like in California, New York, you need like 300K to have that lifestyle. And in other states, it's like up to 150 k like Oklahoma. And so it's like the the 100K is a new, making 100K a year is, is a new, um, like 30K. I don't know. So that was the point of the video. Yeah, no, money's fucking, it's crazy how much inflation's hit. So much of that's because of leaving the gold standard and shit. It's, I, I just don't, don't comprehend American uh, house and rent prices, like. Everyone who's paying for that, apparently everyone who's paying for more than five, you know, seven k for something that the apartment. But uh, those are like, those are like, uh, not even Paris prices. That, that's like, that's like, uh, pretty much any city in Europe, you could get an apartment for like eight hundred dollars a month. Even in Paris. Yeah, it's, it's the. I guess it depends on where you are, like how much, like why it costs so much. Um, a big reason, though, is, like, in a, in a lot of the cities, especially, like, a lot of the more left-wing cities, is, like, zoning regulations and stuff. So they make it, like, fucking impossible to, to build something. Um, so then you have, like, the, you know, the mass migration, ma plus uh, the states is, like, one of the few areas in the West that actually has an above-replacement rate birth rate. And so their fucking population is just constantly fucking growing. But it's like insanely difficult to build new houses because they have the land. So a lot of it's just fucking legal reasons. Yeah, and um, well, in Europe, that money doesn't exist. Um. It seems like it's a it's a rookie trying to actually do things. thing is the uh, money, right? So in, in like, um, if you hire someone to be working in a house in Europe, it's like you're paying them 5k. You're paying them, you know, 7k. In the US, it's like, oh, you're doing my, my new floors? Oh, that's going to be 80k to do my floors. You know what I mean? So it just seems like all the prices of pretty much everything in the US is like 10x. Yeah. Including like pretty much healthcare. But not even, I remember when I was there with my dog, the veterinary, it was pretty, I had to get insurance for my dog. Because it was like, uh, if I didn't have insurance, you would have to pay like 3k for every thing, so. Yeah, the, the, with the housing costs, a lot of that also, again, depends on like where you live. So like there's, uh, I don't know if they have this in Europe, but in North America, there's, the unions like strike deals up with fucking different townships and counties and shit. So there's certain towns and counties you can only work in if you're part of the union, which just bloats costs. Um, like I used to work for a, a road construction company, we would never do certain counties because we weren't union and they would only hire union workers. And the crazy thing is that would cost them like two to three times as much to hire union workers just on wages alone. Yeah, the, uh, it's kind of funny how in Europe you'll have like, uh, almost like Latin American, uh, salaries. Where like someone will be working where X pl place and they're paying like 800, uh, a month. 800 dollars yeah. and euros a month. And in, in the U.S. it doesn't exist. Even if you're like uh, flipping burgers in McDonald's, you're making more than one k sure, a month. So. Oh yeah. But, but the thing is, in Europe, everything's free. Yeah. Education's free, healthcare's free, housing. Like if, if you're basically lower income, the government will give you a free house or like a free uh, apartment in a, in a safe neighborhood. You know. So it's like it's kind of like we're in a daycare, and uh, every, that's like everything could be cheap. It's yeah. Like, the price, even food, is pretty, pretty cheap. Here, well, it's not cheap. It's normal, but uh, I, you know why I think North America's crazy prices? It's because they make money. I feel like everyone has like credit cards there. I remember with like six figures, like in debt, credit card debt. And in Europe, that doesn't exist. Even a doctor, 
that wants to get credit card debt to max out in like 40k. Whereas that's rookie numbers in North America. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Like their money could be like uh, banks and financial institutions to throw, like, throw money like Because uh, they, they're the ones that make it printed, you know, they're the ones that make it. So. Yeah. Well, especially so, yeah. The, the, the states, right? Like the entire world economy is based off the US petrodollar. Louis does not sound like an Italian, like he's Italian. Why, what do you think he is? I feel like Europeans just don't have as strong of accents anymore because they have so much access to fucking North American media. Especially, like, yeah, Dutch people. Man, it, it, so, like, my, my dad's Dutch, right? And fucking, if, if I, I remember growing up, if I listened to my great-grandma talk, she had a thick Dutch accent. And she lived in Canada for, like, 50 years and still had a thick Dutch accent. But then I hear, like, fucking people from the Netherlands talk now, and I can barely hear their accent. It's, like, super faint. Yeah. So, uh, I think the new generation, uh, like, grew up on, uh, on the internet, and that's why the internet's so Americanized. Yeah. That, uh, you know, there's no, uh, mental boundaries. Like, yeah. Well, really even, like, the big. stereotypical Canadian accent, like, you really only hear that from, like, old people in rural areas now. Everyone else just has, like, the same accent as, like, Americans do. Houses used to be so cheap. Now Germans and a lot of these other countries still have the accents. Uh, and Louis, if you're Italian, speak it. <laughs> you gotta throw some Italian fucking Riley's way. Oh, Riley. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a me, Mario. I'm heading after our bounty. Oh, shit. He's right here. Got him. Got our bounty. Oh shit, you good? I'm coming towards you. Uh, I'm down the mountain. I was fighting our bounty guy. I'm coming towards you. I'm on the way. Oh, you can't hear Louis very well. Oh yeah, Riley can't hear you very well. That might be my audio. I'll have to, I'll mess around with it after this game. I don't know what I have my settings at. Oh yeah, there's so many, man.
So sometimes the video recommendations you get, I do I, I have some of those videos. Yeah, uh, the, the thing is, like, some of them that just, they do really well, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta go where the views are. Oh, for example, the Swiss money. There was a video post this week, and it was talked about, like, explaining the history of Swiss money. And yeah, it's whatever. It's, okay, Swiss money is, is uh, used as a reserve for some uh, wealthy people, so we'll just keep the cash, like, hoarded. So have, because the Swiss make, like, a 1,000 to... Swiss franc notes. Uh, people get like a million uh, Swiss francs and keep it in their closet, like rich people. Yeah. But, uh, well, you know, we just had a 20 minute video talking about the history of Swiss francs, but who cares? And one of my buddies growing up, his dad, like, did not trust banks at all, so he fucking had all his money in his fucking house. There was like a fucking vault in his house. The dude was like fucking loaded, too. That used to be a thing uh, super recently in, uh, in Italy, where everything was cash based. Like, yeah, a lot of places you go and like, people wouldn't have, like, uh, card payment. Uh, so if you even have a card or you, you couldn't pay in card, you had to have cash. And now it's the opposite. Now it's like cash is going extinct uh, in the past 10 years. Oh, man, the worst fucking thing is you go to a restaurant and you ask for a menu and they give you a fucking QR code. Oh, my God, no, they gave you the website link. I remember in California, when I was there, I don't know how many years ago. Um, I went to this one smoothie place and they were like, you have to go online and pay online. And then you could, and I was like, what? Let me, here, here's, you know, my, my car here, can I pay here? And they were just like telling me I could. Uh, <laughs> I would have been like, all right, I'll see you guys later. I'm not fucking. That's what I did. I didn't download, like, they were telling me to, like, go online and pay online. I was like, that's not gonna happen. James left? Oh, shit. They must have had to do something with his wife. We're down to the final 10. 16. Yeah. Yeah, Louis can't maintain his alts while he's playing. I have a uh, chat GPT. No, honestly, that would be cool. That in 10 years, you have like an Alexa slave. They say, hey, I will make a video game. And I want the video game to do this and XYZ. And it's just like this like, free outsourced. Uh, not outsourced, but free. Uh, Free labor. Like AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I, you could have a system to count like a whole bunch of people. Obviously, they won't because it will be protected by like, a, uh, how do I say, uh, bureaucratic uh, monopoly. Yeah. It's like, oh, actually. Well, you're, you're already seeing that, right? AI was the future until people found out that it was actually going to replace the intelligentsia before it was going to replace the working class, and then suddenly AI is problematic. Because 90% of the population haven't redundant jobs. James Hackett. Yeah, no, that's true. Like, if, if you have a job that's like... Like, I had a data analysis job once. That is the most boring, mundane shit ever. And they eventually did fucking uh, use chat GPT for it. So, I can only imagine what they're going to do Like as shit gets better and better. James, watch out. Your wife is crazy. That's funny. Okay. Be dead by now. <laughs> yeah, she got changed. She's like a black widow. I'd be out in the open. Shouldn't we go in like a uh, somewhere where we can't get done? Uh, well, we'll, we'll just stay small side of the circle right now. Come back for us. Wasn't there ten people? Yeah, somebody must have got reboot rebooted. There was ten, but there was two solos. So somebody got rebooted. Oh, guy right here. I tagged him for 45. Oh, that's, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Cora. Oh, 
Oh, here comes our army. Oh, I got that one fucked up. They dipped out. I don't know where they went, though. Oh, they went way over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it lit that one up. Oh, we're down ten again. <laughs> no, there's five teams now, so it's all duos. If you open your map, you can check. It'll say how many people, and then in brackets, how many uh, squads. All right, let's uh, rotate out towards the circle. Guys, gliding in. What do you mean gliding in? They're, they're, they're flying in? Yeah, they were. They dipped out though. I lit one up. He's going across the river now. Team over there somewhere. Over there. Oh, there's guys up on the hill. Oh, I, I lit the one up. Yeah, yeah, once you get to end game, people start fucking. Just because there's so much uh, less room, you can't really play aggressive. Uh, you can take the person while he was wearing bulletproof. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, take cover if you can. Four blue on one. There's buildings in here if you can get inside.
Three teams left. Six players. Oh, there's three people. Three people. So four, four more players left. Is everyone hiding underground? What's going on? Yeah, they're hiding somewhere. They're in the buildings. Oh, there's a guy right in front of us. Oh, you got right there? Oh, I see him. I see him. He's in the stairs. He's right there. Yeah, yeah. Of, uh, time to clutch the fuck up. Yeah. Let's go. 